Epicenter with me, Maria Shakil. Another brutal killing similar to the Shraddha Walker murder case has come to light and again in the national capital, that is New Delhi. The body of a 25-year-old woman named Nikki Yadav was found inside a freezer at a dhaba in southwest Delhi's Najafgarh. She was murdered by her boyfriend, a man named Sahil Gehlot, who strangled her to death. He owned the dhaba where he dumped her body and shockingly attended his marriage the same day he committed the crime. Sahil and Nikki were in a relationship since 2018 and even lived together. But he kept the relationship hidden from his family who arranged his marriage to another woman. Police say he killed her after she confronted him about his engagement and marriage to another woman. The post-mortem report has revealed death due to strangulation and no other injury marks were found on her body. Sahil Gehloth has been sent to five days of police custody, but the capital has been shaken by this gruesome crime in the wake of the Shraddha Walker murder case. What explains this depravity where women are brutalized by those they love and trust? murdered Nikki Yadav on February 9. That's what the cops are saying. Sahil, in fact, had hidden his plans of uh, getting married to another woman uh, from Nikki. Sahil murdered Nikki when she confronted him. Sahil strangled Nikki with a data cable, is what the cops are saying. And thereafter, he hid her body, in fact, in a dhaba near Mitrao village. Then Sahil returned home and married his fiancée the same day Nikki's body was recovered after Sahil's arrest. But in this case, the timely action of the cops has to be noted. On February 10th, the day after the murder, the cops received a secret input that Sahil had murdered his partner. That was Nikki. No missing persons complaint was Nikki uh, was uh, registered. Um, and it has not been registered by anybody close to Nikki so far. Police, in fact, launched a search operation to apprehend Sahil. Sahil's mobile phone was switched off. He was not at home. But on 10th of February, Sahil was nabbed at Kair village crossing. A few days later, Nikki's body was recovered from the Dhaba. There's more piece of breaking news coming in on this story now. And sources are now revealing the sequence of events which led to Nikki Yadav's murder. In fact, sources are telling CNN News 18 that Sahil murdered her in his car. The vehicle that was used in the crime did not belong to Sahil. It belongs to his cousin, brother, Ashish. Sahil left his home in his cousin's vehicle without informing his family. Nikki left from her house with the Sahil for the Nizamuddin railway station from where Nikki was uh, expected to board a train to Goa. Sahil claims that he, was one, he also wanted to go and he could not get a ticket. They then decided to go to Himachal Pradesh and went to the Anand Vihar ISBT. But later, they f found out that there was no buses that was available. Then they went to Kashmiri Gate. But in that journey, things got ugly. And it was a massive argument that broke out between the two. 
Sahil then used a data cable in a fit of rage to kill her in his cousin's car. Anshul is joining me live from crime branch office in Delhi where all the details are coming in from the cops. So Anshul, the cops have more or less cracked this case. But just in the fit of rage, a man kills someone who, who he claims to have loved. Uh, well, definitely, this is what the accused is claiming at this point in time. Sahil Ghalot is saying that the entire incident happened in a fit of rage, but the cops are not ready to believe this because, remember, he got uh, the uh, initial uh, initial talks of his marriage started in the month of December itself. Mm. And for at least two months, uh, he had the time to actually fix the situation where he could have convinced Nikki that he was getting married or some other, uh, he could have found some other way. But the manner in which right after the engagement, he goes to the house of Nikki, picks her up, goes to Nizamuddin station where he, uh, the cops are actually saying that he had actually convinced Nikki that he would not attend his marriage and he is ready to travel with her. And from there, uh, from the Nizamuddin railway station, we have been told that they initially went to Anand, Anand Vihar uh, ISBT where they were hoping to board a bus to Himachal Pradesh, but they did not get tickets and hence they went towards Kashmiri Gate. And during that time, it is being said that the, uh, that an argument, a massive argument broke out between Nikki and uh, uh, Sahil Ghalod and Sahil then out of out, out of anger he made sure that he that he kills Nikki. But if you see the entire sequence of events, it is becoming some, somewhat clear that he had actually planned to kill uh, he had actually planned to kill Nikki in this manner because if you see um, Sahil promising uh, even on the last day that he is ready to skip his marriage and mm. go ahead with her to Himachal Pradesh. This is something that the cops are probing at this point in time there could be there could be few statements that could be misleading uh, from the uh, from the side of Sahil Gallot and hence they are not ready to believe uh, whatever he is saying on, okay. on his words. So, so at this because point in time, the, the police is accused in this case Anshul as you're pointing out is constantly changing his statement it, it is clear that there was a larger conspiracy that it was a planned murder it was not just the one in fit of rage. Anshul appreciate your time. And Anshul was a reporter who was tracking Shraddha Walker murder case also very closely. Let me bring in my guests now. Abha Singh is a lawyer. Yashwardhan Azad is a former IPS officer. Dr. Jainti Datta joining me here in the studio is a renowned clinical psychologist. We also have Vikas Walker, Shraddha's father, joining me from Mumbai. Uh, Mr. Walker, thank you so much. Abhi tak aap apne beti ke liye insaaf ka intazar kar rahe hain. आपको क्यों लगता है कि इस तरह के जो क्राइम्स हैं अगेंस्ट वुमेन हु आर अवे फ्रॉम देयर पेरेंट्स इस तरह के क्राइम क्यों बढ़ रहा है विकास वॉकर जी मुझे जी ऐसे ही लग रहा है कि ये जी जी आ, मुझे लगता है कि ये कानून में को, कोई शायद कमी होगी या ऐसे क्राइम करने के लिए ये लोग क्यों आगे आते हैं इसकी इनको कोई खौफ नहीं रहा है अभी ऐसे क्राइम करने के लिए तो मुझे लगता है कि ऐसे कुछ कानून में थोड़े से बदला होने चाहिए ताकि ऐसे घटनाएं न घटी सो देर इज ऑलमोस्ट नो फियर ऑफ लॉ यू नो दैट इज व्हाट यू आर सेइंग लेकिन विकास जी आप श्रद्धा के जो केस में वही वाला पूरा पैटर्न यहाँ पर भी फॉलो हो रहा है यहां पर भी बॉडी को रेफ्रिजरेटर में रखा जाता है एक ढाबा में और जो डिप्रेविटी का जो सेंस है जो जो एक आप एक महिला के साथ जिंदगी गुजार रहे हैं और उसके बाद उसको इस तरह से बेरहमी से मारते हैं तो ये इसलिए भी क्या आपको लगता है हो रहा है क्योंकि ये जो लड़कियां हैं जब वो जॉब करने लगती हैं या अपने घर से बाहर चली जाती हैं तो अपने पेरेंट्स के साथ कनेक्शन नहीं रहता है जी हाँ ये ऐसे जो लिव इन जो रिलेशन रखते हैं इस इस मामले में तो ऐसे ही लगता है ये लड़के ज़्यादा इसका एडवांटेज लेते हैं और फिर ऐसे घटनाएं हो होती है तो मुझे लगता है ये लिव इन रिलेशन में भी कुछ ऐसे कानून आने चाहिए जिसके वजह से ऐसी घटना दोबारा नहीं हो सके सोसाइटी इज नॉट प्रिपेयर फॉर अ लिव इन रिलेशनशिप और रिलेशनशिप ऑफ दिस नेचर डॉक्टर जयंती दत्ता another gruesome crime and i'm asking you the same question uh, there is, seems to be everything similar between sahil and what we know about the other case aftab aftab ji 
I, I think, you know, uh, probably d we don't lack as far as the laws are concerned. Implementation is something which we lack. I believe our laws are more perpetrator friendly than the victim friendly. Now, if you look at it, we took eight years to get the uh, justice for Nirbhaya Kant. Now, for Aftab's case, hmm. you see a person who uh, claims he is in love hmm. and then kills her, puts her in the and fridge, chops, her into, chops her into 35 pieces of body and then entertains other girls. Now, hmm. the similarity, I had already been interviewed and I said, what I know about the criminal psyche is you are sending a message that this can be done. Now, to say and claim that this was in a fit of rage, I don't believe it because you had already planned to get engaged to somebody else. You were getting married to somebody else. And believe me, murder like this never occurs in this kind of a sequential manner if it is out of, out of your rage. So what, why are you saying that it doesn't happen? What is the sequence that you're trying to build? I'm trying to build that, you know, he needed a vehicle. He didn't uh -huh. have it. He, need, he had the data cable. So this was convenient enough. And the dhaba where he had put the body, that belongs to him. The refrigerator is also there. Look at the cool kind of a confident the perpetrator has. Same was the case with Aftab also. They were confident that they can brutalize and they can get away with it. Now, you just said that, you know, the women who go out for working and all that, these kids were studying and they were together from 2018. Yes. Now, I do agree that it is probably, you know, in the socialization itself, you have to groom your daughters that, you know, you can be taken for a ride you could be exploited. But where is our gender parity? We shout, we talk about gender parity, we talk about women empowerment. Where is the empowerment? Yes, but Dr. We are not Dr. Dr. That. I think it's a larger reflection on the absence of fear of law. Absolutely that, that, right. You know, Yeshwardhan Azad, let me bring in Yeshwardhan Azad on that note. Yeah. Yeshwardhan Azad, who uh, Shraddha Walker's father ne bola, ek, jo ek fear hota tha ke what will happen to me if I commit crime, that is gone. You know, Maria, I'm not too sure uh, whether capital punishment has brought about some lowering of crimes. I mean, even Abhaji can weigh on this particular point because most of these living relationships, when they go ori, hmm. it's a kind hmm. of a pattern which, which we, have start, we have seen for a long time. If it goes wrong, then the um, uh, if the poor girl is alive, she talks about rape, and there is brutalization from the man's side. If it if it goes awry, in this case, it is very clear that the guy is a hardened criminal, you know, because uh, he's uh, completely aware, and basically his his what he wanted to convey was that I can carry on with both relationships. Yes. He neither yes. tried uh, doing anything on the other side. The other point which I want to make, Maria, is the society uh, is accepting to a certain extent living relationships. You know, the parents ultimately went to that place to look for Nikki. But the society is still rigid. One, The other half of the society is still rigid about marriages. You know, unless we bring in this acceptance that the young people, you know, have to go their own way because, you know, neither laws neither a kind of, uh, you know, uh, cautioning uh, for the girls will bring about any change because today there is such a lot of exposure, there is such a lot of social media, there is such a lot of platforms that young boys and girls are going or, to need. Or, or should I say, Yashwardhan Azad, that India as a society is still not prepared for live-in relationships. The reason why I'm saying so is that it ends up being the parents completely not in agreement with an equation of this nature and the girls do not have the option of coming back. There's no fallback option because if the relationship goes wrong, then where do they go back to? So perhaps even if in this case, this girl understood, Nikki understood that her partner was cheating on her, where could she have gone back to? Abba Singh, the, it, it's not a normal equation and parents also do not accept such equations because of the societies that we are living in. Then... Then what is the uh, 
option for a girl i mean what what protects her the law doesn't protect her but the law does protect her but provided she knows where she stands hmm. number one when you are in a relationship you should know that for sure the boy will not marry you and if he will not marry you you should have the courage to come back to your parents or take up your own house and live separately just because you slept with a boy he will marry you that itself is a wrong percept and this is what has happened the relationship is never accepted if you see their surnames girl is a yada boy is a ghalo the parents would have not agreed to that alliance they may have lived together and that is why the boy Boy must have been under parental pressure. I would like the parents to be uh, taken for uh, uh, talking in the police station to know were they opposing it. But that is one thing. Second thing is what is important is here that Chandrakar Azad ji also pointed out that had the girl been alive, she would have gone to the police station and lodged a case of rape against this uh, Gehlot because um, to have a physical relationship under the false promise of marriage is rape. That is what 375 of the IPC says. So till the time that is amended, so many times Supreme Court have said. No, it is not rape. You have voluntarily gone and lived with the person. So, because of that faulty law, lot of people are compelled to kill the girl because that is why you because you need to destroy. No, but Abba Singh, Abba Singh, this is why there, there is seems second. to be a, an a rise in cases of this nature, where it is the girl who is being killed in this manner only because she has entered a relationship with, say, Aftab or or in this particular case, Sahil, and the. the the security that parents provide provide is missing you know maria what it is parents don't even know what their children are doing you know so that is the biggest thing that disconnect of parents with their children is re- is the biggest reason why the girls are unsafe in shraddha's case the father did not know that the daughter had been uh, dead for more than a month in this case also they did not know that the girl the, that the boy she is living with after 12 is not marrying her had the parents been on touch with and uh, connect they would have okay. known that he's got engaged somewhere they would okay. have got okay. pressure so, that the society Okay. Okay. Let, let me ask Vikas Walker so, on this. Let me ask Vikas Walker. Uh, Vikas ji, आपने सुना कि बाकी लोगों का क्या ओपिनियन है? उनका ये भी कहना है कि अगर परिवार लड़की के साथ नहीं है, तो उसको शायद वो हिम्मत नहीं मिलती है एक खराब रिलेशनशिप को कंफ्रंट करने की. परिवार साथ में नहीं है. इसका मतलब ऐसे नहीं है कि लड़की अकेली है. वो परिवार हमेशा साथ रहता है लेकिन अगर ये ऐसे ये ब्रूटैलिटी हो सकती है तो फिर लड़की अकेली क्या कर सकती है लेकिन विकास जी जैसे श्रद्धा के केस में आ, उसकी मौत को एक महीना हुआ और उसको जब तक आफ्ताब ने नहीं बताया तब तक किसी को पता ही नहीं था कि उसकी मौत हो चुकी है विकास जी आप हमारी बात सुन सकते हैं मेरा कहना है कि आप आपकी भी अगर आपकी बेटी से रेगुलरली बात होती रहती तो शायद आपको ये जो घटना हुई थी उसके बारे में पता चल चुका होता ये भी पता चल चुका होता कि आफ्ताब उनको बेरहमी से मारता था पीटता था आपकी आवाज नहीं आ रही मुंबई पुलिस दे न्यू दैट दे वेर Uh, she was brutalized physically and what i learned from the news that the father and with her with his relatives he had gone But to no, their the, house the, the, in this after, particular case after, in this particular after, case let's after. look at sahil now all right sahil ka jo uh, whatever i know hmm. that this girl was staying with this boy hmm. for such a long time yes. how can the parents say that we did not know now i would like to bring in another aspect of this you know when you go to the mcd if you have a faulty map your building they don't take much time they use the bulldozer and it's gone you know there is a zero tolerance why can't you have that kind of a security for our girls now you will take you know you have to collect evidences and you have to prove that you know this was the thing now the girl is gone where is the punishment for the boy yes. why would you where not penalize in fact, in fact, why would you not penalize the fact, boy and his parents in fact news agents unshul confronted sahil as he was being sent to a police remand for 5 days let's listen to that and then i'll give the final word to yashwardhan azad
accused Sahil has just reached the crime branch office. If you see Sahil, who is the main culprit in this entire case, and he is accused of, of in the manner in which he went ahead and and went ahead and killed Nikhil. Just try and get in a word. Sahil, Sahil, Sahil. Sahil, you have to accuse Sahil. Sahil, you have to accuse Sahil. Sahil, you have to so Sahil has just reached over here at crime branch. He has been brought over here from the court after the five-day police custody that he has gotten. And now he'll be interrogated by the DC, DCP crime out here. And it remains to be seen what comes out from this interrogation. But yes, at this point in time, the interrogation is continuing. And we are expecting some more details to trickle out from this very, very crucial interrogation that is going to happen of Sahil right now. Vishwadhan Azad, the questions that the reporters have asked there is, Sahil, aapne... Nikki ko kyu mara? What is the motive for this murder? Well, the motive uh, for this murder is to play on both sides. And that's a typical uh, habit of uh, some of the men in our country. There is hypocrisy. And uh, as, as somebody just now said, that this relationship was going on for the last five years. He didn't want to get rid of that. And on the other hand, he didn't want to tell his own uh, side anything. You know, the point I want to uh, again um, uh, bring uh, forward is... At Maria, today, we are not accepting uh, love marriages. We yes. are not accepting uh, live-in relationships. That's we are not expect, accepting divorces. So what does a poor girl do? His peers, her friends, you know, her parents. And the other thing is, you know, the, the kind of atomized societies we have living in various quarters. Now, why should a live-in have to show to the uh, uh, Resident Welfare Association that we are married? And yes. that's why we yes. are staying. That is one of the reasons why they, why they keep quiet in secret lives and then nobody knows anything about it. So these are things which have to be worked out within us. And I think there should be more debates on, on various platforms, whether on TV, yes. whether on NGOs, talking about women who have broken uh, have relationships and have come out yeah, of so, it. So, you know, broken <laughs> relationship, the onus should not be seen only on women. Uh, Vikas ji, if you can hear our voice, आपने इस आ, सारे लोगों की आ, बात सुनी सारे आ, पहलू को सुना सारे पक्ष को सुना मैं आपकी ओपिनियन जानना चाहूंगी श्रद्धा आपसे एक महीने तक आपको पता नहीं चला कि उनकी मौत हो चुकी है जब तक आफ्ताब ने नहीं बताया था इस पर्टिकुलर केस में आ, पुलिस ने जाके रजिस्टर किया कोई मिसिंग पर्सन कंप्लेन निकी के फैमिली ने नहीं रजिस्टर किया था तो ये जो परिवार से जो लड़की का Rishta khatam ho jata hai only because of live-in relationship. Uh, do you think that's not a that's also a problem that the parents have to realize that if a girl has made a mistake or whatever she has she may have done, then uska uska saath dena hoga. Vikas ji. Cut ho gaya wapas. Vikas ji. Yeah, was break ho raha hai. लेकिन लड़की की पनिशमेंट कब होगी? Eight years you will take to penalize the boy, then we'll never have justice and empowerment for women. Why should we be just condemning a living relationship? Okay, let me ask the question again to Vikas ji. Vikas ji, क्या लड़की का साथ उनके माँबाप को देना चाहिए? निकी के पेरेंट्स को उनका साथ देना चाहिए था और श्रद्धा का साथ आपको देना चाहिए था? जी हाँ बिल्कुल सही ये श्रद्धा को मैं हमेशा यही कहता था कि तू अकेले कैसे मैनेज कर पाएगी तो मुझे यही लगता है कि ये लड़की के पेरेंट्स न होने से ही लड़के ज़्यादा एडवांटेज लेते हैं तो मुझे लगता है कि लड़की वालों को भी ऐसे साथ देने ही चाहिए ऑल राइट विकास वॉलकर डॉक्टर जयंती दत्ता थैंक यू सो मच यशवर्धन आजाद एंड Abha Singh, thank you so much. In fact, uh, uh, the investigating officer in this case is speaking. Let's listen in. All kinds of evidence. They had a heated argument in the car and he strangulated. Most of it has been corroborated. There are some things which are yet to be ascertained and very soon we will do that. 
Uh, sir, it is being said that he did the entire incident out of a fit of rage. He got angry and he did it. But is the police believing it at this point in time? Do you think that he might have planned to do something like this? So far in the investigation, I can say that the girl was upset with the information that he is getting married the next day. They had a heated argument in the car and he strangulated her with the, the data cable of his mobile phone. This has come on record so far. These are the facts as of now. So uh, are you believing this, sir, or are you uh, proving this statement as well that he did it out of fit of rage or he might have planned something like this because he has been, uh, he, he, the, he actually, his marriage got fixed actually two months ago itself, so he might have planned something like this to uh, do something like this to Nikki. We are examining it, but we don't have anything concrete about any pre-planning. Sir, is this possible that he might have convinced Nikki to travel with him to places like Himachal because uh, he is claiming that they went to Nizamuddin, after that they went to Anand Vihar as well. So, do you think that he might have convinced Nikki to travel with him and he might have convinced her that he is not going to get married and he is going to go, go ahead with her? He was getting married the next day. He got engaged the day before. So, uh, and if he would have planned to go somewhere, he would have pre-booked any ticket which he didn't do it. So nothing of that sort has come on record. Okay, sir. So my last question is, uh, another question that is being raised on the Delhi Police, we saw that the last time around a case happened where in Kanjawala, where Anjali was dragged for approximately 22 kilometers. This time around also, she, uh, the body traveled in the car for approximately 40 kilometers and still no one suspected that a dead body was inside the car. Do you think there is, there is a scope of improvement in the policing when it, uh, when it comes to the national capital? We are checking sensitive footages and uh, inside the car it is very difficult to figure out whether the person is hurt or injured to that extent. It's a moving car and if there are no visible signs of injury, it is very difficult to ascertain that who is in the car, in what state he is in the car or she is in the car. So that was DCP crime branch.